In the grand tapestry of human history, the rise and fall of civilization stand out as some of the most compelling narratives, woven intricately with threads of innovation, conquest, cultural evolution, and eventual decline. These sagas of human societies, sprawling from the fertile plains of Mesopotamia to the vast expanse of the Roman Empire, tell tales not just of bygone eras, but also offer invaluable insights into our contemporary world and what the future might hold. The Rise and Fall of Civilizations, a historical analysis, delves deep into the heart of these civilizations, aiming to unravel the mysteries of their ascendancy and the reasons behind their eventual downfall. But why study these cyclical patterns? Because within these patterns lie lessons, warnings, even, that our modern societies would do well to heed. As the famous adage by philosopher George Santayana goes, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. This ebook is not just a chronicle of past events. It's a mirror reflecting the strengths and vulnerabilities that have characterized human societies across millennia. By understanding the ingredients that led to the flourishing of civilizations and recognizing the symptoms of their decay, we gain a clearer perspective on our current global civilization and its trajectory. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a student, or simply someone curious about the patterns of human progress, this journey will offer a fresh perspective on the ebbs and flows of societies. So, buckle up as we embark on this historical voyage, tracing the footsteps of our ancestors, celebrating their achievements, understanding their challenges, and drawing lessons for a brighter, more informed future. Chapter 1. Defining Civilization Civilization. The very term evokes images of grandiose structures, bustling cities, celebrated artworks, and monumental breakthroughs in science and thought. But what truly constitutes a civilization? How does one distinguish between a mere group of people and a full-fledged civilization? What constitutes a civilization? At its core, a civilization is a complex society that is characterized by urban development, symbolic communication forms, and a perceived separation from and domination over the natural environment. It's the zenith of human social development and organization. While tribes and nomadic bands center around familial ties, civilizations transcend these simple connections giving rise to societies bound by far more complex interrelations. Key Components of Civilizations 1. Social Hierarchy One of the most discernible characteristics of a civilization is its well-defined social hierarchy. This structure is far more intricate than the leader-follower dynamic seen in smaller human groups. In a civilization, roles are diverse, rulers, priests, warriors, farmers, artisans, and merchants all find their places in a defined order, often based on power, wealth, or occupation. These layers of society are crucial for the efficient functioning of large populations. 2. Centralized political systems. Central authority is essential to manage the vast territories and populations that come with civilizations. Be it the pharaohs of Egypt, the emperors of Rome, or the sultans of the Ottoman Empire, centralized systems of governance allow for unified decision making, law enforcement, and defense. These systems ensure orderliness and provide a framework for resolving disputes, collecting taxes, and protecting borders. 3. Advanced Technology Technology, in the context of early civilizations, extends beyond machinery. It encapsulates advanced agricultural techniques like irrigation, architectural marvels like the aqueducts, and transportation means like the wheel. These advancements elevate societies, enabling them to support larger populations, build monumental structures, and improve the quality of life for their inhabitants. 4. Complex economies. With increased population and specialization of roles comes the need for trade and commerce. Complex economies in civilization see the emergence of marketplaces, trade routes, and even early forms of currency. The barter system evolves into intricate economic structures, with merchants, traders, and even banking systems. Economic prosperity often becomes the backbone of a civilization's strength and influence. 5. Artistic and intellectual activity. Perhaps the most cherished aspect of any civilization is its contribution to the arts and intellectual thought. Whether it's the philosophical discourses in the Athenian Agora, the literary masterpieces of the Tang Dynasty, or the architectural wonders of the Mughal Empire, civilizations become incubators for human creativity. These artistic and intellectual pursuits are not mere pastimes, they shape the cultural and moral fabric of the society, influencing generations to come. In conclusion, civilizations are not merely large congregations of people. They are intricate tapestries of organization, innovation, and culture. 
their emergence marks significant leaps in human evolution, fostering environments where creativity, governance, and economy thrive symbiotically. As we journey through the annals of history in this ebook, understanding this definition and the key components of civilizations will be instrumental in appreciating their rise, their golden eras, and, inevitably, their declines. Chapter 2 Factors Leading to the Rise of Civilizations the intricate dance of history has seen the birth, flourishing, and eventual decline of countless civilizations. While each has its unique narrative, there are common threads that weave through these tales of ascendancy. Understanding the factors that catalyze the rise of civilizations provides a lens through which we can better appreciate their stories. Let's delve into these driving forces. Geographical Advantages 1. Rivers from the Tigris and Euphrates of Mesopotamia to the Nile of Egypt, rivers have been the lifeblood of ancient civilizations. These waterways provided fresh water for consumption and irrigation, enabling agriculture to flourish. Moreover, rivers acted as natural highways, facilitating trade and communication. 2. Fertile land. The cradle of any civilization is its ability to feed its population. Fertile lands, blessed with rich soils and adequate rainfall, support robust agricultural activities. These areas become hubs for settlements, leading to the formation of cities and the subsequent growth of civilizations. The Fertile Crescent, for example, was aptly named for its agricultural abundance, leading to the emergence of some of the world's earliest civilizations. 3. Natural Barriers Mountains, dense forests, and deserts often act as nature's fortifications. The Himalayas, for instance, protected the Indian subcontinent from many invasions, while the dense jungles of Mesoamerica shielded the Mayan civilization from potential external threats. These barriers provided security, allowing civilizations to grow without the constant threat of external invasions. Innovation and Technological Advancements As humans settled and formed communities, the need for better tools, agricultural techniques, and building methods became evident. The invention of the wheel, the development of writing, or the mastery of iron smelting were all pivotal in the progress of various civilizations. Such advancements not only improved daily life but also gave civilizations an edge over their contemporaries, often in terms of military or economic prowess. Trade and economic prosperity. Trade is the lifeblood of an expanding civilization. The establishment of trade routes, like the Silk Road, facilitated not just the exchange of goods, but also ideas, technologies, and cultures. Cities that became trade hubs, such as Constantinople or Timbuktu, blossomed into centers of wealth, drawing people from various regions and thereby boosting their civilization's influence. Enlightened leadership and governance. A civilization's trajectory is profoundly influenced by its leaders. Enlightened rulers, such as Ashoka of the Moya dynasty or Queen Hatshepsut of Egypt, prioritized welfare, infrastructure, and diplomacy. Their reigns often marked golden eras of peace, prosperity, and cultural renaissance. Stable governance structures and fair legal systems further bolstered a civilization's foundation, ensuring order and promoting growth. Cultural and religious cohesion. Shared beliefs and cultural practices bind the fabric of a civilization. Whether it was the pantheon of gods in ancient Greece or the guiding principles of Confucianism in China, a common cultural or religious backbone provided a sense of identity and purpose. These shared beliefs fostered unity, facilitating collective action and a shared sense of destiny. In summation, the rise of civilizations is a complex interplay of geography, innovation, economic dynamics, leadership, and shared beliefs. While each civilization may emphasize one factor over another, it's the harmonious balance of all these elements that truly propels societies to their zenith. As we proceed further, it's essential to bear these factors in mind, offering a clearer understanding of how each civilization charted its unique path to prominence. Chapter 3 The Golden Ages Across the vast tapestry of history, certain eras shimmer with an exceptional luster, standing out as periods of unparalleled progress, prosperity, and cultural achievement. These epochs, often termed Golden Ages, represent the zenith of civilizations, where societal structures, governance, economy, and culture harmonize to propel societies to their pinnacle. In this chapter, we delve into some of the most illustrious Golden Ages, unraveling the magic that made these times extraordinary. The Roman Pax Romana. Period, 27 BC to 180 AD. A roughly 200-year span that commenced with Augustus Caesar's reign, Pax Romana translates to Roman peace. During this era, the Roman Empire experienced 
stability and peace, with minimal military conflicts inside the empire, in chapter 4, signs of decline. Throughout the grand tapestry of history, civilizations that once thrived and dazzled the world with their achievements have experienced a descent, often giving way to newer powers or fragmenting into smaller entities. But decline doesn't happen overnight. Instead, it's a process, frequently marked by a series of discernible signs and factors that hint at the approaching downfall. This chapter aims to shed light on these signals, highlighting the underlying causes that have frequently heralded the decline of great civilizations. Economic downturns and stagnation. One of the most salient harbingers of decline is the weakening of the economic backbone of a civilization. Trade disruptions, civilizations often suffered when trade routes were disrupted, either due to external threats, natural disasters, or political upheaval. The loss of vital revenue and resources led to dwindling wealth. Resource depletion, over-reliance on certain resources, be it agricultural produce or mineral wealth, often led to their exhaustion, crippling the economy. Financial mismanagement, the failure to maintain a stable currency, excessive taxation, or debasement of currency often triggered inflation and economic instability. Overexpansion and military overreach. Empires stretching over vast territories frequently faced the challenge of governance and defense. Difficulty in governance, the vastness often made communication and central control challenging, leading to semi-autonomous regions that might rebel or drift away. Military strain, stationing troops across extensive borders or engaging in prolonged wars drained resources, both in terms of manpower and treasury. Cultural diffusion, the assimilation of diverse cultures sometimes diluted the core values and norms of the empire, leading to a loss of identity. Internal strife and political corruption. Civilizations are not just brought down by external forces, the rot often starts within. Power struggles, succession crises or rival factions vying for control can destabilize the central authority, sometimes resulting in civil wars. Corruption, bureaucratic corruption hampers governance, leading to dissatisfaction among the populace and weakening the administrative structure. Loss of legitimacy, when rulers are seen as unjust or tyrannical, it erodes their legitimacy, causing the public to rally behind dissenters or external invaders. Societal complacency and loss of cultural vitality. At the peak of their success, many civilizations have displayed a certain complacency, a belief that their era of dominance would last indefinitely. Cultural stagnation, over time, the fervor for innovation, art, and science may wane, replaced by a rigid adherence to tradition, hampering progress. Moral decay, societal values might erode, leading to increasing decadence, which could weaken the societal fabric. Failure to adapt, an inability to adapt to changing circumstances, whether it be environmental changes or new technological advancements by rival powers, often hastens decline. In summation, the decline of a civilization is a multifaceted process, a confluence of both internal and external factors. While some signs are overt, such as economic downturns, others are more subtle, like the gradual loss of cultural vitality. Recognizing these signs is essential not just for understanding history but for drawing parallels and lessons for our present-day societies, ensuring we remain vigilant and adaptive to the ever-evolving global landscape. Chapter 6, Notable Civilizations and Their Stories The intricate tapestry of human history is woven with tales of great civilizations that, at their zenith, forge new pathways in governance, art, science, and culture. Their legacies still resonate, inspiring or an intrigue. In this chapter, we explore some of the most noteworthy civilizations, capturing their essence and the indelible marks they left behind. The Mesopotamians, the cradle of civilization. Nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, Mesopotamia was home to a plethora of cultures, including the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians. Key achievements, Mesopotamians gave the world its first written code of laws, the Code of Hammurabi, and the earliest form of writing, cuneiform. Their ziggurats, terraced step pyramids, dotted the landscape, revealing their religious fervor. Legacy, Mesopotamian advancements in irrigation transformed agriculture, setting the stage for urban civilization. Ancient Egypt, mysteries along the Nile. Ruled by pharaohs and guarded by sphinxes, ancient Egypt thrived for millennia along the Nile's fertile basin. Key achievements, renowned for the pyramids of Giza and the Valley of the Kings, the Egyptians also pioneered early forms of medicine, mummification, and complex hieroglyphic writing. Legacy, their detailed records of astronomical observations, and the 365-day calendar display their prowess in science and mathematics. 
the Indus Valley Civilization, a peaceful enigma. Stretching across modern-day Pakistan and northwest India, this civilization remains an enigma due to its undeciphered script. Key achievements, Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro, its principal cities, boasted advanced urban planning with a grid system, drainage, and standardized weights and measures. Legacy, notably devoid of large-scale weaponry and fortifications, it's postulated that the Indus Valley people were largely peaceful, emphasizing trade over conquest. The Greeks and Romans, from city-states to empires. From the philosophical discourses in Athens to the Grand Colosseum in Rome, the Greeks and Romans shaped Western thought and governance. Key achievements, the Greeks introduced democracy, while prolific thinkers like Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle laid philosophical foundations. The Romans, with their engineering marvels like aqueducts and roads, facilitated connectivity across the vast empire. Legacy, Roman law, Greek philosophy, and the Latin language have significantly influenced subsequent Western civilizations. The Mayans and Aztecs, Central American jewels. In the dense rainforests and highlands of Central America, these civilizations cultivated rich cultures. Key achievements, the Mayans developed an intricate calendar and excelled in astronomy. The Aztecs, with Tenochtitlan as their capital, showcased their architectural prowess through grand temples and pyramids. Legacy, both civilizations left behind intricate artwork, detailed written records, and insights into their religious and ceremonial practices. Medieval Islamic Caliphates, centers of learning and trade. Spanning from Spain to India at its zenith, the Islamic Caliphates were beacons of knowledge and commerce. Key achievements, institutions like the House of Wisdom in Baghdad saw scholars translating works from Greek, Persian, and Indian sources. Innovations in mathematics, including the introduction of Arabic numerals and algebra, took place. Legacy, the Islamic Golden Age greatly contributed to the European Renaissance, as translated works acted as conduits of ancient knowledge. In reflecting on these civilizations, one discerns a common thread in an unwavering human spirit to innovate, aspire, and elevate society. Each civilization, with its unique flair and genius, has added chapters to the grand narrative of human progress. Chapter 7, Modern Reflections. As we peer into the rearview mirror of history, the specters of past empires loom large, casting long shadows on the road ahead. These vanished civilizations, with their tales of glory and ruin, present a trove of insights for the modern world. The rhythms of rise and fall resonate across epochs, prompting us to draw parallels, understand patterns, and, perhaps, glimpse into the future. Lessons from past civilizations and their relevance today. 1. Sustainability matters. From the deforestation experienced by the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island to the soil degradation of Mesopotamia, the misuse of natural resources has recurrently foreshadowed decline. Today, as we grapple with climate change and environmental degradation, the need for sustainable practices becomes increasingly paramount. 2. Adaptability is key, civilizations that thrived were often those that could adapt navigate change, whether it be in the form of shifting trade routes, technological advancements, or climatic alterations. In our rapidly evolving digital age, adaptability remains an essential virtue. 3. Social cohesion strengthens, the fall of many empires was expedited by internal strife, be it political infighting or societal unrest. Maintaining social harmony and a sense of shared purpose can act as a bulwark against decline. The Rise and Influence of Western Civilization Western civilization, tracing its roots to the Greeks and Romans and blossoming during the European Renaissance, has undeniably stamped its influence on the global canvas. The European Age of Exploration, the Scientific Revolution, and the Industrial Revolution were key inflection points that catapulted the West to dominance. Key factors, the spirit of inquiry and emphasis on individual rights, coupled with technological advancements, created a fertile ground for innovation and expansion. Legacy and influence, Western thought, enshrined in ideals like democracy, freedom of expression, and rule of law, has shaped international norms and institutions. The English language, as a medium of global communication, and economic systems rooted in capitalism further underscore this influence. The challenges and threats faced by modern nations. 1. Digital vulnerability, the advent of the information age, while bringing myriad benefits, has also exposed nations to cyber threats, misinformation campaigns, and digital espionage. 2. Globalization's double-edged sword, while fostering interdependence and cooperation, globalization has also intensified competition, leading to economic disparities and brewing geopolitical tensions. 3. Health threats, 
the recent COVID-19 pandemic underscored the vulnerability of even the most advanced nations to biological threats. Chapter 8, The Future of Civilizations As we stand on the precipice of an increasingly interconnected world, driven forward by the relentless march of technology and globalization, we must grapple with questions that civilizations of the past could scarcely imagine. The horizons of the future stretch out in dualistic patterns of light and shadow, promise and peril. What then can we surmise about the future of civilizations? Let's embark on this speculative journey. The role of technology and globalization. 1. Accelerated progress, technological advancements, particularly in areas like artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and renewable energy, are set to redefine the boundaries of what is possible. From the quest for human longevity to harnessing sustainable energy sources, the coming decades promise seismic shifts. 2. A global village, the term globalization is no longer a buzzword but a lived reality. The omnipresent internet, international trade, and ease of travel have intertwined destinies, economies, and cultures. Distances have shrunk, and in many ways, the world feels smaller. 3. Knowledge democracies, with information accessible at the fingertips, traditional power dynamics are shifting. Societies are evolving from being passive consumers of information to active participants in knowledge creation and dissemination. Potential threats, navigating the minefields. 1. Climate change, arguably the most pressing challenge of our era, climate change, with its attendant problems of rising sea levels, extreme weather events, and biodiversity loss, demands urgent and coordinated global action. The fate of future civilizations might very well hinge on our response to this crisis. 2. Nuclear warfare, the specter of nuclear conflict, despite efforts at arms control, looms large. The devastation such warfare could unleash is unimaginable, potentially catapulting civilizations into a new dark age. 3. Cyber threats, in an increasingly digitalized world, cyber threats pose a unique challenge. From disrupting essential services to manipulating democratic processes, the virtual realm has become the newest battleground. The idea of a global civilization, utopia or dystopia. 1. A united human front, the idea of a global civilization, where humanity stands united, transcending national, ethnic, and cultural divides, is undoubtedly appealing. It speaks to a world where resources are shared, where collective intelligence solves pressing problems, and where a shared human identity trumps parochial allegiances. 2. Challenges to integration, however, the road to such unity is fraught with challenges. Socio-cultural differences, economic disparities, and political power plays can stymie efforts at global cohesion. 3. Surveillance and control, on the flip side, a hyper-connected global civilization could also portend a dystopia where surveillance becomes omnipresent, privacy a relic of the past, and individual freedoms sacrificed at the altar of collective good. 4. Balancing autonomy and unity, the challenge, then, is to strike a balance where the benefits of a united global civilization are harnessed while safeguarding individual and community rights. In wrapping up our exploration, the future, as always, remains an enigma. Yet, the lessons of history and the trends of the present provide signposts. Civilizations of the future will, much like their predecessors, navigate the dualities of growth and decay, unity and fragmentation, creation and destruction. As stewards of this legacy, our actions today will echo in the chronicles of tomorrow. Conclusion, echoes from the past, whispers to the future. Throughout our journey, tracing the contours of empires and civilizations that once reigned supreme, we have not merely traversed temporal landscapes, but have been privy to an evolving tapestry of human endeavor, imagination, and resilience. Every brick laid, every word written, and every battle fought were not isolated incidents of history, but part of a continuous narrative of humanity's aspiration for greatness. Understanding the past to prepare for the future. To merely study the past as a detached observer would be to miss the forest for the trees. Ancient tales of triumph and tragedy are not just chronicles to be shelved away but are reservoirs of wisdom. They reveal patterns, of rise and decline, of unity and strife, of invention and stagnation. These patterns provide invaluable lessons. For instance, the economic downturns that once plagued the mighty Roman Empire bear eerie resemblances to modern financial crises. The societal complacency that contributed to the fall of the Mayan serves as a potent warning against taking our current successes, for granted. The external pressures faced by the Islamic caliphates, in the form of invasions and diseases, echo in the global challenges of today, from international conflicts to pandemics. The continuous evolution of civilizations. 
As we stand on the threshold of an uncertain future, one thing remains clear, civilizations, like living organisms, are in a constant state of flux. They are born, they mature, they peak, and eventually, they face decline. But even in decline, they sow the seeds for new entities to arise, drawing from the old and fusing with the new. Today, as our world becomes increasingly interconnected, we're witnessing an unprecedented phase in the story of civilizations. With technological advancements accelerating at breakneck speeds and cultures intermingling like never before, the very definition of a civilization is undergoing a metamorphosis. Yet, as we hurtle towards the future, it's paramount to anchor ourselves in the lessons from our ancestors. For in the stories of their glories and their downfalls, we find the compass to navigate our current complexities and the foresight to shape a harmonious, sustainable future. As the renowned philosopher George Santayana aptly put it, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And so, equipped with the legacy of millennia, we march forward, ever-evolving, ever-creating, ever-learning, in our perpetual journey through the annals of time.